Yeah. All right, welcome back. Let's call Macy. You guys, uh, you met on one of the dating apps. You met on Hinge and uh, went out for yeah. a nice dinner. You thought that went really well. You were excited about the potential. You do admit that for whatever reason, you thought she was acting kind of weird at the end of the date, but not to the point where you thought you'd never see her again or hear from her again, but you think you're being ghosted and you want to know what's going on. Absolutely. That's exactly it. All right, let's call Macy now. Good luck, Patrick. Thank you. Hello? Hi, is this Macy? Yes. Uh, hi, Macy. Good morning. My name is Fred. I'm calling from the Fred Show. The whole crew is here, and I do have to tell you that we are on the radio right now, the morning radio show, and I would need I would need your permission to continue with the call. Is it okay if we chat for just a second? Um, sure. Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you so much. Uh, I don't want to take up too much of your time, but uh, we appreciate it. We're calling on behalf of a guy who says he met you on uh, one of the dating apps. Hinge. His name is Patrick, and you guys recently went out. Do you remember uh, a date with Patrick? Yeah, I do. Okay. So, always the exasperation. Mm-hmm. That, uh, so, what happened? Because he uh, called us and wanted our help. He says that he went out with you and liked you a lot. He does admit that for whatever reason, he felt something weird at the end of the date, but thought that he would hear from you again and that you'd go out again. Uh, but he says it, it would appear that you're ghosting him. Is that what's going on? Well, I guess I'm not really... It was just kind of weird how it ended. Mm. How did it how did it end? What was weird about it? He didn't give us any indication. Well, I mean, we went out for like a nice dinner and everything was great and you know, I was super into him. We had great conversation and everything. So we decided to go back to his place. Oh, and, um, oh. We were this just is where things can drink. They, they tend to go awry right around this time. <laughs> right around the transition between the, the public place and the private place. Okay, so you're at his house. You had a drink. I interrupted you. I'm sorry. That's okay. Well, yeah, he calls us an Uber, and I think we're going back to his place, but then we show up at a hotel. Oh. Oh. Okay. All right. So, all right. Then what? Well, I'm confused. I thought he lived in town. So I'm like, uh, why are we at a hotel? And he said that he was having work done at his place. Or, oh. Um, <laughs> right. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. The old burst pipes again. Yeah. Right. 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 Okay. So you're at this hotel and, and he you can't go to his house because he's having work done on the house at, at night, I guess, on <laughs> after a dinner. So whatever time this was. Okay. Yeah, and I mean, I wanted to turn around right then, but I was like, well, just give it a chance, like, see what happens. So we, like, step into his hotel room, and there's a little tiny duffel bag in there. I mean, if he's really having work done at his place, like, wouldn't he have more stuff in the room? Okay, so he'd already checked in before the date, and he had a little overnight bag. All right. (laughs) Okay. (laughs) Yeah, so I just felt shady vibes. I was like, I am going to go. So I called an Uber to leave. What is going on, Patrick, with the hotel? No, no. The, I've got I've got my house. In a, it's a real mess right now. So, um, what you do know, you I mean got by? the hotel. It's a really nice hotel. No, that's I love fine. hotels. Yeah, you know, what's, like, no, same with all of us. We love a hotel, too. Yeah, what's happening at the house, though? Oh, no, they're, they're working. They're doing a bunch of work. There's stuff everywhere. Painting a couple of the rooms, and it's just a real mess. Well, then so, you could I have mean, used like one of the other rooms, then, right? Like if they're painting a couple of the rooms, that would have left it, uh, the other rooms, right, where you could have gone. Yeah, there's that there's that paint smell. You know what I'm saying? The whole place. Smells mm-hmm. like so it's a paint, paint smell that we're worried about, and the work that they're doing. I see, but you can live there. Yeah, yeah. You live there the rest of the time. I mean, oh, it's dangerous, around. right? So I want to be clear. Yeah, yeah. you I'm looking up for her. Okay, so you live in these yeah. dangerous conditions, but you wouldn't bring her back there. You had to go to a hotel instead. Yeah, yeah, you know, but I also I think hotels are great. I thought it was a classy hotel. I thought she'd like it. I'm going to go on a limb here. I'm just, this is a crazy thought. I know this is wild. I'm going to go on a limb and say someone else lives in that house yeah. with you. Who's painting? Yeah. No, exactly. oh, yeah. no. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> no. 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 I see. So, Macy, is that the vibe that you're getting is the same vibe that all of us are getting, which is that there's, there's more to this story than just some uh, paint fumes? Yeah, I wonder if there was a wife and perhaps some children living oh. in that home. Well, right. I certainly hope those those right. people aren't exposed to these paint fields right. that no. you want to ex- expose Macy to. Patrick, it, it, this is coming off very shady. Yeah, I, I, guess it, I guess it seems like, I just, you know, I like hotels and, and I think it's a 
you know, you get room for service, you go get in the pool, you know. It's, yeah. I feel like it's a, it's, a pool. You know, it's a nice pool. place. It's a, it's yeah. kind of fun. <laughs> okay, so you got your little duffel bag. How many pair of drawers in there? Plus some swim trunks. How did that all fit in your little duffel bag, your little man bag? <laughs> I, I, I can run back and forth to the house. Oh, you go, oh, you go back and forth. Oh, okay. You go back yeah. to the house. Mm, okay. Wow. I don't know. I don't uh, want to stay there. I want to stay there overnight. You know, I feel like it's the, the toxic fumes. Right. That, kind of, you know, that is not a that. normal thing. You realize that, right? Like, if I go on a date with someone, and I'm like, uh, I, I live in the city, but but we should definitely go to a hotel instead. I mean, that screams I'm hiding something. Yep. No, I don't think it seems that weird. Okay. Well, Macy thinks that. So, look, Macy, let's say we, uh, I'm, I'm sure all the paint fumes are out now and the paint is dried and, and everything's fine. So, um, I'm sure, Patrick, on the next date, you could take her to your house so she could see the house, right? Uh, not quite yet. Okay. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs>